Well, hello everybody and happy Thursday. It's Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. So it's 2 23, 23, um, 7 p.m. Eastern time. This is Lisa Freeman coming to you live. And um, <laughs> got another ad. <laughs> All right, so I hope, oh, look how crooked I am. <laughs> what is going on here? Let's fix that camera. All right, so we have a fun card tonight. And I hope you guys will join me for the whole video and I'll show you how to make this. This is a really cute card that my friend and downline Diane Eckleberry made. And she brought it to class today and I just loved it. So I wanted to make it for the video tonight. So thank you, Diane. I love it. Love it. Love it. And I think you can see all the sparkle and shimmer on there. She's also a shimmer queen and shimmerette like me. And I just love this card. So here it is. So we open it up and then there's another owl and then you open it up again and it's got the happy birthday. So I couldn't find my happy birthday stamp. So I, I got grabbed another one. I don't know. It's in one of my boxes somewhere. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's super easy, but it does have like a hundred pieces to it. So that's the only bad thing. <laughs> and I hope I cut them all. I double checked like three times. Well, I triple checked because, um, I just was like so worried I'd forget a piece. So hopefully I have all the pieces, but um, it is really easy once you cut the pieces. So we're gonna have fun doing that. And it's using the Adorable Owls from Celebration, which you can only get for a couple more days. So I think we've got, let me see, five more days left. Um, or if it sells out before then, I'm shocked that this is not sold out yet. This That just blows me away that this is still available. So um, if you're gonna get it, I would get it today because no telling um, how much longer it'll last, but definitely won't be available after the 28th. So, um, and this is the only celebration this year. So I have a gnat in here. <laughs> it's good. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I just got, I've been sitting here trying to get that thing for like 20 minutes. So um, anyway, celebration is over on Tuesday. It's 20, yeah, Tuesday's the 28th. So um, make sure you get whatever you want in the next couple days. Um, also, we're gonna be using this paper, which I have, I don't think I've used this paper yet, and it's called Regency Park, and it has lots of cute papers in here. They're all flowers, and here's some of them. Let me take them out so you can see them better. So we've got lots of different patterns of flowers, and they're all really cute. And then on the back, let's see what's on the back. Um, lots of patterns. So the flowers are on the front, patterns are on the back. So lots of different ones to pick from. And they're so cute. So love that. And that is in the spring mini. And there's a stamp set that goes with it, but we're not using that tonight, so you don't need it. So you just need the owl set and this paper for this one. And then um, any happy birthday set uh, or stamp that you want. This one has the one from, I think it's called Go To Greetings. I always forget the name of that stamp set. <laughs> Terry's going, uh, I wish we would get more snow. <laughs> I sure don't want snow. Today it was 80 degrees here. It was absolutely gorgeous. It felt like summertime. It was almost hot, hot. I think a lot of you guys on the East Coast with me have warm weather. And then like in the middle of the country, it's, cold and snowing and ugh. <laughs> I'm ready for springtime and everything is blooming so I'm really hoping it doesn't go back to cold because then I'll be worried that everything's gonna die but hopefully how am I crooked again I don't know how I keep getting crooked so hello hey Annette and hey Tony hey Diana you got my card got my owl card good this one's cute too I know I love this stamp set and I am not cutesy. If I like this set, then you know it's got to be good because I am not a cutesy person, but this is adorable. Um, hey, Francis. Hey, Beth. Hey, Susan. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Marlene. Hey, Francis. Looks like 80 degrees in Georgia today. Um, I know, Terry. Cutie card. I am shocked also. But I told you I love this owl. I wasn't going to get it, and then I saw how cute it was, so I had to. And I think, Terry, are you, somebody sent me a card that was like this with the double opening, but I, 
I think it was Terry, but I'm not positive. So, um, cause I remember I opened it and I didn't open the last flap and whoever it was, was yelling at me, open the other flap. But I can't remember. I think it was Terry. I went back and looked and I couldn't find it. Um, hey, Bill. Hey, Julie. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Jackie. Guess cute is okay if it shimmers. <laughs> it's definitely got some shimmer on it. Definitely sparkling. Hey, Robin. Let's see. Cute card. My adorable owls just came in. I know. It's so cute. I'm going to be bummed when celebration is over because I still want to get more stuff. I love celebration because I stock up. It's a great time to stock up on all your paper and ribbon and embellishments, anything you want to get. Um, Wendy says negative 44 degrees Celsius here. I have no idea what that is Fahrenheit, but it sounds really cold. Love the double opening. Thank you. I can't take credit, though, because my friend Diane made it. But um, she actually made me two cards, and they were both adorable. But since the owl is getting ready to go, I figured I'd go ahead and do this one first. But I'll do her other card another day because it is they're both so cute. I need to hire her as my assistant because she makes adorable cards. So, all right. So don't forget, um, we've got a few more days for celebration. We've also got a few more days for my card kit. So this is the card kit for now through the end of the month. So you'll get all of the supplies to make these three cards if your order is over $50 and you use the host code. Please don't forget the host code. Unless your order is over $150, then you get the hostess benefit. So, oh, Annette says, I laid out by the pool today. It was 82 degrees in Cape Coral. Well, that's in Florida. It's always warm in Florida. <laughs> but I love Cape Coral. If your order is over $100 and you use the host code, you also get these gems. So all this with the $100 order. Um, and you still get, if your order's over 150 and you don't use the host code, you still get all the goodies. And also, if your order's over $100, you get entered to win a $100 gift certificate. And I am just about at $4,000 right now. So, I'm trying to hit $6,000 this month so I can hit $700,000 in career sales. So, I'm giving away a $100 gift certificate for every $1,000 in sales that I get this month. So, I'm almost at four. So that'll be four gift certificates for $100 each. And so if I get to six, I'll give out six. So you've got a pretty good chance of winning. So I need about 20 more orders to get to that 6,000. So um, I'd love for you to help me out and I'll send you lots of gifts and you'll also get entered to win that gift certificate. So, all right, let's get started. So I've got a funny joke for you guys tonight, too. A lot of you guys are sending me jokes, and I love it, love it, love it. I love getting jokes. And some of them are hysterical. Some are a little bit too uh, mm, raunchy. <laughs> They're hysterical, but I can't use them. <laughs> or I might get kicked off of YouTube. So, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Did you guys see the pictures of my bathroom? I posted all the pictures on Facebook yesterday. Um, and I've gotten like 300 comments already. So if you haven't checked that out, um, make sure you go on my Facebook page. It is public, so anybody can check out the pictures. And uh, I think you'll love the bathroom. It's so pretty. Oh, Ann says she was in Virginia Beach today and it said 85. I, I don't know if it got up to 85 in Chesapeake, but Virginia Beach is right next to Chesapeake, so... Usually we're a couple degrees warmer than Virginia Beach because they always get that ocean breeze blowing. Um, oh, Arizona was 50s? Usually Arizona's way warmer than here. So a lot of you guys are getting the heat wave today. Oh, thank you, Josephine. Risque. Yeah, risque. That's the word I was searching for. Risque. Yeah, a little bit on the X-rated version. So there's been some really funny ones, but I just can't um, say them. <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for all the comments about the bathroom. I just love it. And I picked out everything for the bathroom from Home Depot, um, except for one thing that wasn't available. I got it at Lowe's. And then the cabinet came from Amazon. So um, if any of you guys are redoing your stuff, I can send you the details if you want to copy mine. Because uh, it was fun picking out all that stuff. I loved it. And I love my glass doors with the barn door 
sliding thing on the top. I love it. I wish I could have gotten that for the door that goes into the bathroom, but I don't have room, so. All right, Brenda had her windows open today. It was so nice out. I was gonna open my windows, but it was kind of hot. And my house was still like 70. So I figured if I opened the windows, it would just make the house hotter. So I didn't. So I didn't want to have to turn my air conditioning on yet. But tomorrow's gonna be back in the 60s. So, all right. So first thing you need is a piece of Knight of Navy. And this one is cut long ways. So I cut it at four and a quarter by 11. And then I cut off that piece. And that piece is gonna be this piece right here. So... I don't really want to get these out of order, but so this piece right here came off of that. I just cut it at two and three quarters and that's where the whole piece was from. So these two kind of went together in the beginning. So I think I messed that up. Okay. I got these all stacked together. All right. So that is the first piece. That's the main piece. Then this goes inside here. Then we've got, I'm going to try and go in order. This piece right here is the folding part in the middle. It's three and a quarter by 10 inches, and I scored it at, and that's Knight of Navy, I scored it at five in the middle. And then I've got two pieces of the white to go on the top of each of these, and that's three by four and three quarters. So those two will go with this. Then we've got this piece, which is going to go with this one. So these two go together. So that, let me turn it this way. Well, no, it goes this way. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. No, this one goes with the other one, sorry. This one goes on this piece right here. So that's gonna go there. All right, that's four by two and a half, and that's with the designer paper. And then these three pieces go together. So let me move that up. So we've got these three. So these three all go on top of each other. So this one is four and a quarter by two and three quarters, Knight of Navy, four by two and a half white. So they just go down a quarter of an inch and three and three quarters by two and a quarter of the designer paper that I just showed you. And then this is a little extra piece I had and I just cut it down. I'm gonna stick it right here. Like, actually, no, I'm gonna stick it right here on the inside of that. So maybe like right there. So I just had that extra and I was like, oh, I should just use that one. So, oh, I don't have room to put this. Let me see, let me stick this right here. I'm gonna put this right here. Hopefully you can get all that in a picture. Does it all fit? Yes, okay. Let me scoot it over. All right, so everybody loves my bathroom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Um, yeah, go look. And Jody, you're moving to Fayetteville on April 1st. So you'll only be like, that's about three hours for me, I think. Um, it does look like a spa, I know. I haven't taken a shower in it yet either because I was waiting until I got all the pictures taken before I put all my junk back in there. So I've been moving some of the stuff back in there today. And um, so I'm gonna take a shower right after the video and try it out. Um, if you just go to my Facebook page, it should be the, it's a second post on my Facebook page. There's one above it. Um, okay. What DSP is this? It's called um, Regency, I just had it a second ago. Regency Park. Yeah, Regency Park. It's in the Spring Mini and there's a set that goes with it. So really cute. I used that on a card not too long ago, the flowers from that. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot. I'm gonna take all these off and we'll start doing the card. The hardest part of this card is coloring the owls. That's about it, it's pretty easy. Well, actually the hardest part is coloring. I mean, it's cutting. <laughs> that was, I sat down to cut and I'm like, oh my gosh, I know I'm gonna forget a piece. Okay, so let's go ahead and move all this stuff off. All right, so I can tell you these two go together. Wait a minute, nope, this goes in the middle, sorry. Goes like that. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and glue those together so I don't mix them up, because I don't want to mess up anything and glue it in the wrong place. So let me just do that real fast. And then we'll do some stamping. 
So I went to lay out today after I had a class this morning and I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to go lay out. I go sit in my backyard and the clouds come and I'm like, what? So it got really cloudy. Then I came inside and I started getting ready for the video. Oh, whew, I thought I was gluing the wrong side. And um, about an hour later, it's gorgeous again outside. And I'm like, dang it. I really wanted to get some sun because I am white as a ghost. So pale. I hate being so pale. I wish I had like a permanent tan. Or that, that skin color, you know, that's just beautiful all year round. I probably should put some self-tanner on or something. So I'm not so pale. All right. So then these two pieces we're going to be stamping on. So one is just going to have the happy birthday. And then one's going to have the owl. Got to do two owls. Oh, I forgot. You need a scrap paper for an owl also. Um, the owls are going to go in black. So we're going to stamp one on one of these papers. So that's kind of in the middle. And then the one on the scrap paper. So I'm using Memento Black for my scrap piece. And that one's done. And then we're also going to have this one with the party hat. I'm stamping that in memento. And he's just going to go right in the middle here. And there you go. Could be, I think I need to re-ink my pad a little bit. It's a little bit light. All right, and then I've got Knight of Navy. So we're going to use that for the words. I didn't do the hoot hoot like she did. I'm just going to do it's your day on this one. And then the birthday one is gonna go on this one. So these are both Knight of Navy. So I'm gonna put this one at the top. I couldn't find the one that she used, but I'm sure it's in one of my boxes somewhere. I just couldn't find it. All right, so then let's go ahead and color. So I've got my Stampin' Blends. So we are gonna use, I think I got two of the same ones. Wait a minute. I do. Light crumb cake. Yep. I only need one of those, and I think these are both light balmy blue. Yep, okay. All right, so we're gonna start with the beak and the feet. So that is pale papaya, dark pale papaya. That kind of sounds so funny when you say that, dark pale papaya. Like it's an oxymoron or something. So Diane used like some kind of pink, but I couldn't figure out what color that was. I think, I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like Blushing Bride or something, but I couldn't figure it out. So I just grabbed the orange one. I need my glasses on. Okay. Whenever I'm doing a little tiny space, I kind of, I like to use the, the thinner tip, the um, bullet tip because I don't want to go out of the lines. Okay, so there's that. That's all we need that one for. Uh-oh, I just realized I did the wrong owl. Darn it. Wait a minute. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta have the one flying and I don't even have that one cut out. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna have to put this together. <laughs> I just did the wrong one. Okay, back up, back up. My brain's not on, screwed on right. Okay, so let's stick this one on. And boom. Now usually I trim my stamps up, but I don't have my rubber cutting scissors with me. So we're just gonna have to Hope this doesn't leave a mark, but we're cutting it out anyway, so. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna have to re-stamp that, darn it. Okay. Oh, I need a block. I'm telling you. <laughs> I need to start all over. <laughs> all right, so normally I don't like all that extra rubber, so I would I would trim that, but I don't have those scissors with me. So let's just do it up here. This way. I could have sworn I grabbed the right one. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> 
Okay, see it left a mark. That's what you get. When you don't cut that rubber off, sometimes you get it. And I don't, I didn't rock it or anything, but sometimes if you just rock it just a teeny bit, it will do that. So that's why I always trim it just a little bit more. Okay, so we don't want this one. Let's get that orange marker back. The pale papaya. Okay, take two. There we go. I was sitting here looking at it. I'm like, why are her feet off to the side and mine are down at the bottom? <laughs> you guys didn't see me mess up, did you? Let's see. Just went and looked. Love your new bathroom. Oh, thank you. Howdy from Icy, Iowa. Hello from Wisconsin. Hey, Ginger Snap. You never fail to make me laugh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't even try. <laughs> you can always count on me to goof up and give you a laugh, though. All right, so let's do the blue next. I love these little blue eyes. So this is the light balmy blue. So we're just going to color in his or her, probably a her. It looks like a girl. So we've got the blue eyes and let me see. That's all we need blue there. And then same thing over here. And isn't that cute? I love the eyes. That's what just gets it for me. The eyes are so cute. Um, and then let's do the hat with the blue too. Because I didn't bring any other markers. So we're just going to stick with the blue. <laughs> All right. For the body, we're going to use... What do we have? Light crumb cake and I think dark crumb cake. Yep, light and dark crumb cake. So we're gonna color, let me see this part. Actually, we're gonna color the whole thing with this and then go back and do some parts darker. So we'll just color this whole entire thing. Try not to get his eyeball or her eyeball. I probably should have colored this ahead of time and then cut it out, but then I would have cut the wrong owl since um, I had the wrong one. Okay, and then we're going to take the dark one and go over some of these areas. Just kind of around here. And then we're going to go back and blend that some too. And a little bit around the edge. Oops. Okay. Then let's go back and blend it so you don't see those lines. Okay. It looks like one color, but it'll dry like you can see it once it's um, dry. It'll lighten up a little bit. These blends always lighten up a little bit for you. All right, so then let's do the other one. So we're going to do the whole same thing. I'm just going to leave that white, the hat. I don't know what she did. Let me see. Oh, she did a little yellow and two different blues. Maybe I could just darken one of the stripes in there. I'm so prepared tonight. I know. I didn't, ha I didn't want to have to do a video, like come up with a project. And so when she brought these cards, I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Now I can go sit out in the sun. And not have to worry about a project today. Because I didn't have anything planned. So Diane, you saved me a ton of time today. Alright, so I'm just coloring the whole entire thing with the light crumb cake. And then I'm going to go back over with the dark and do parts of it. So we're just going to highlight. I'm going to use that, that tip. Oops, I just went out of the lines. I didn't bring my color lifter either. So, I love these blends though. It's pretty hard to mess up because you can always go back over with that color lifter if you mess up or, you know, just keep on blending it. And usually that'll work it out too. Look, I keep going out of the lines. What's up with that? Okay. All right. I'm 
gonna go back over with that blue one and see if I can make the stripes a little bit too toned. So we'll have, I like that look, cute, very cute, love it. All right, so then we gotta cut this one out. And you know my secret for cutting is keep your right hand straight and turn with your left hand. So we're just gonna turn it but my right hand is pretty much not moving. The paper is doing the work because you don't want to put your wrist out, especially if you have like carpal tunnel or something. You don't want to be like twisting your hand back and forth. So if you just turn the paper, it makes it so much easier. So I'm barely moving my right hand and I can't get this spiky hair too much. We'll try it. These are just the cutest little owls. Okay. Yeah, if you guys ever find any really good jokes, just send them to me because um, just email them to me or send them on um, like Facebook or something like that. Or leave one in the comments. You can do that too. But most people just email me. You can always email me at stampgirl2 at cox.net. That's my email. All right, I'm just gonna cut that off real quick. Once you get down to the end, you wanna kinda trim it a little bit, then it's easier to get in those tight little spots. Okay, now it looks good. All right, so now we're just gonna put it together. Let me read some comments real quick. Speed coloring, yep, there you go. <laughs> if it's not easy, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> You know, I do not do anything that's hard usually. <laughs> I've been watching this girl on YouTube and she is absolutely hysterical. Her name is Tanara Double Chocolate, I think. And um, she takes like the worst cooking videos that, that I, mean, I don't even know where she finds these cooking videos, but she takes people, you know how everybody's doing cooking videos all the time now. And so she'll pick one that's absolutely disgusting and she'll like green screen herself into the front of the video. And so she'll comment as the person's making it. And she just makes the funniest comments. And she she always says, it don't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. <laughs> it's just so funny. But there was one I was watching yesterday that she did. And um, this is going to go on the inside. And the person took hot dogs like a few packs of hot dogs and um just right out of the refrigerator this is not coming out there we go and put them in a bunt pan like kind of up the side of the bunt pan and oops I forgot to put my little piece on here I can still do that though um we're gonna take this little tiny piece and put that just right here oh I'm just a sliver short darn it that's all right Nobody will notice. And I'm just gonna put it just a teeny bit up from the bottom. So you have a little bit of white showing. All right, so that's the one piece. Then on the top, we're gonna have this one. So it was hot dogs. Then they took a big jar of pickles, drained the juice into a bowl, and then poured the pickles on top of the hot dogs in the bunt pan. Then they took gelatin just like, I don't know if it was clear gelatin or what, mixed it with the pickle juice and made like a jello gelatin. Then took uh, the bunt pan that had the hot dogs and the onion, I mean the hot dogs and the pickles, dumped onions and peppers on top of that, then poured that gelatin made with the pickle juice on top, then put it in the refrigerator. And she's like, yeah. And she's, so you can tell she's like grossed out how disgusting it looks. And she said, yeah, put that in the refrigerator for 469 days <laughs> until you forget about it. I was rolling and then they take it out and it's all congealed and it looked like um it was so disgusting I don't even know what it looked like but some kind of congealed meat or something like spam kind of but it was even grosser and the lady just cuts into it and then puts it into like a hot dog bun and eats it and she's like oh <laughs> you gotta go check her out I think it's I think it's Tanara like T-A-N-A-R-A 
double chocolate. But she is a riot. I could sit and watch her all day. She makes me laugh so hard. All right, so this is going to go on here. And I'm just going to put it right in the middle since I don't have the hoot hoot on here. Isn't he or she so cute? Love it. All right, so that is going to go on the front here, but we're going to wait. We're going to do this part first. So this is going to go right inside the card, almost right up against the edge there. You don't want to put it too high up because then it won't shut very good. So I'm just going to put it down just a teensy bit. So we're going to glue that down. See, once you cut it, it's really easy to put it together. It's just cutting all those pieces. So I'm going to put it right below the crease mark, like not right on top of it. And hopefully that's in the middle. Kind of looks like it's more on this side. Okay. I think it's a teeny bit crooked, but that's all right. All right, so this one's going to go on here, and you want it, you can do it like that. I think it looks good like that. You could do it all the way down at the bottom, but I think it kind of looks good like that, too. So I'm going to do it like that right there. So you just need the glue on the top part because you don't want the glue coming down here. So I'm just going to center that right on here. There we go. I think it does need some words there, but I just didn't want to do the hoot hoot, so I didn't. But I might put something there later. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so then we're going to have to spray it because you got to have some shimmer. All right, hold on. Let me get my shimmer spray. And I'm going to use the one from Amazon. Now, some of you guys commented you got the one from Amazon and it was making a little bit of blotchiness. Mine doesn't do that, but if yours is making a little bit of blotchy, just add a little bit of alcohol in there and it'll thin it out a little bit more. So, because I think sometimes if it's blotchy, it might be because there's too much of the, the painty stuff in there. This one looks pretty thin though. So I haven't had any problem with it, but... Um, if you ever get one that clogs up or it looks like it's blotchy, one might be that you're spraying it too close. So always make sure you're about 12 inches above and then go, oops. See, mine is like a really fine mist. Oh my gosh, it's, look, I got my fingers. <laughs> I got sparkle fingers. All right, so there you go. Is that adorable? Then you open it. Oh, look, he's got sparkle on here too. Maybe we'll sparkle that. <laughs> gotta sparkle everything. <laughs> gotta sparkle this one too. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for my joke? Let me read some comments real quick and then we're gonna do the joke. So there are the two cards. So adorable. Love it, love it, love it. Um, everybody's going, that sounds so disgusting. I know it. Did it look like jello? It was like clear jello because it was pickle juice and clear gelatin. So it was like just congealed. You know how like if you have um, chicken grease or something left over and the fat all comes to the top? That's kind of what it looked like. It was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, all that food wasted. It, yeah, it did look kind of like the jello and mixed vegetables. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. <laughs> Oh, hey, Starla. Late to the party, but you're here. Hey. Um, let me see. Better than horrible is definitely the bar to look to. <laughs> yeah. I poured my Amazon shimmer spray into a bottle from the dollar store, added a little bit of alcohol, and it works perfect. Okay. All right. So that's good. So Starla's came out. But mine, mine has been perfect. It's like a really, really fine shimmer uh, mist. So... I'm not sure exactly what happened if you got one that didn't, but just add a little alcohol. It should um, fix it right up for you. So, and if not, you can always do the other kind with this. Make it yourself. So either one. So stinking cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you ready for the joke? Hold on one second. And here we go. Let me pull up my email. Okay, here we go. This one's a cute one. For several years, a man was having an affair with an Italian woman. One night, she confided in him that she was pregnant. Not wanting to ruin his reputation or his marriage, he said he would pay her a large sum of money if she would go back to Italy and secretly have the child. If she stayed in Italy to raise the child, he would also provide child support until the child turned 18. 
She agreed, but asked how he would know when the baby was born. To keep it discreet, he told her to simply mail him a postcard and write spaghetti on the back. He would then arrange for child support payments to begin. So one day, about nine months later, he came home from work to a confused wife. Honey, she said, you received a very strange postcard today. Oh, just give it to me and I'll explain it later, he said. The wife obeyed and watched as her husband read the card, turned white as a ghost, and fainted. On the card was written, spaghetti, 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 spaghetti. Three with meatballs, two without. Send extra sauce. <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. Um... Laughing, Annette's laughing so hard. <laughs> Just getting here. Oh. <laughs> All right, I missed something. What is, love it when that happens at Brenda. What did I miss? Loved, oh, Gina K. Yeah, I like her too. Um, All right, so you guys love the joke. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, Australia's in the house. So I hope you liked this card. It's super fun and you can try it yourself. Now you got all the measurements to make it. It's like nine or 10 pieces of cardstock or card paper, cardstock and designer paper. And I'm sure you could do it with any um, stamp set you want, but I thought this owl was just so totally cute. And don't forget, you only have five more days to get it. So <laughs> Starla says, I'm Italian, twins run in my family. So she had five kids, <laughs> three with meatballs and two without. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Sharon says, I wasn't going to bring up the jello and the veggies. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Well, thank you for joining me. Sorry, it's a short one today. It's only 37 minutes. So um, this was a pretty quick one. So I'll be back on Saturday for date night. So hopefully you guys will be ready at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And <laughs> everybody's loving the joke. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. There's only 49 thumbs up, so make sure you put your thumbs up. Um, comment, subscribe, um, all that's good stuff for me. And that helps my channel grow, so tell all your friends about it. <laughs> and tell them they get a good, funny joke. I'll make you laugh in every video. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a great uh, rest of your week, and I'll see you on Saturday.